My stand bench is one of the best things in my workshop. From time to time I needed to hold something for cutting or drilling and so I wanted to be able to have a vise on the bench. I was gifted this machinist vise when a neighbour moved out. I had used it by attaching it to the T-track with some sliding T-track fittings and knobs and it worked fine mechanically but wasn't very ergonomic. To use it effectively it needs to sit further towards the front of the bench but I didn't want to mount it there permanently. I wanted to be able to install it when I needed to and remove it, store it when I didn't. It was Easter and I didn't want to go to the hardware for the parts to do this so I looked at what I had to hand. Some melamine and hex bolts was all I had so I decided to make do with those as I wasn't going to be doing any heavy work with this box. And if it proved too flimsy, it would provide a layout for something more substantial later. Firstly, I measured and cut the melamine to fit just inside the first non-slip rubber. I wanted to maximise the length of the melamine to maximise the stability from front to back. I then cut it with the track saw and planed it to neaten the edge. It might get a thin hardwood strip to seal it later on. Then I used the marking out I had prepared that showed where the T-track would align to the melamine, drilled two holes and slotted them to allow for easy attachment and removal from the T-track. I attached the melamine to the track, sat the vise onto the melamine and roughly marked where it would need to be. I marked the front vise mounting holes drilled and rebated them and used a small chisel to let the hex heads into the bottom of the melamine. I then mounted the vise, marked the rear mounting hole and repeated the process. There we have it, job done. The vise is remarkably stable on the bench and perfect for simple work such as using a hacksaw or tapping holes which was the primary reason for the project. If needed, you could have some straps at the front that engage the T-track in the apron. But at this stage it doesn't seem necessary. Time will tell and the project that I needed this for is now being completed. Now to do something about that rust. Thanks for watching.